Hey, what's going on? I know you're looking at this background and you're like, man, that is clean. Well, I have a new, or we have a new office in the north side, Young Life Metro. And so I'll, I'll still be able to hit up the, the east end every so often, but this is where I've come to do, you know, office hours just to kind of get away to have, you know, uh, some disconnection, if you will, from home and actually having an office spot. So I'm here, but if you don't know me, my name is Sly. If you do know me, what's going on? I am back with an update and this is not the usual or the normal monthly update. For those of you that might be new, I do a monthly update, just kind of going over the what, what I get to experience in a monthly basis, whether that's being with kids, if that's being with new donors, if that's meeting new people, I get to really show you guys that you guys can see more of the vision. Um, so I've been doing this for almost four years. This coming July will be four years. And I've been here in Pittsburgh, on the east end of Pittsburgh, with my smoking hot wife, Amy, and our beautiful baby boy, Phoenix, who just got added to the picture about a year and a half ago. Now, without any further ado, this is a year update, not, not just December. Um, I wanted to really give you guys the opportunity to see just kind of the highlights of this year. And then also, um, you know, the traditional year and letter, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not good at that, to be honest. Um, and so my wife was actually going to do it. And then I also had someone on the committee, you know, kind of write something up. And then I thought, you know, what, why not show you guys, you know, that's what I've been doing with my vlogs on a monthly basis is showing you guys what I get to see. And so for those of you guys who've been a part of this journey for almost four years, um, can, you know, reference or even remember, oh man, like I remember him speaking on that or showing me that through his vlog. And for those of you who are new, you get to see just from this video alone, you can start to see little highlights throughout the whole year of 2021. And so as we go into 2022, I wanted to carve out time, but also say, hey, if you think or you feel moved, compelled to give um, to sustaining ministry in the east end of Pittsburgh and also the East End team, I, I, I urge you and I freely um, consider or want, want you to think about, you know, giving. And if you don't, um, well, take this as a free gift, if anything, and just hopefully it warms your heart. Without any further ado, we're going to get into it. Let's have a good time. Check this out. <laughs> and with my guy Josh and Ella, we just fit, wrapped up a session for Stand for Life. And um, I mean, shout goes out to his company, Rocket Republic. Check them out. I mean, they're doing some dope work. Um, Nick, you got anything to say? You good? No? Okay, he's good. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Josh. You're the man. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Coaches, Coach Donald, Coach Chuck, um, let me see. I think you that name. Uh, Coach Sly. Can you repeat that Coach one more time? Can <laughs> you say one more time? Coach Flynn. Yeah, all of them. And then all my friends. <laughs> Like runners on your marks, and I'm like, oh, no, yeah, just full start or mess it, it up or something. Like, no. Facts, no, because on Saturday, yo, on Saturday, on Saturday, but man didn't even want to talk. All right, here we go. This is 2021. Two years ago, this date was uh, track championships for Taylor Older Night City's championships. And my man Isaiah said that he was gonna go to states. What's the verdict? What, what happened? Look, man. I told him I was going to go next year, which was last year, but COVID hit. COVID hit. That's so why I got to take a pause. And he doesn't. Um, but this year, I just had to break it down. We had to, we practiced.
Hello. Hello. I'm just having to run slowly here. Oh my gosh. I'm with because he can't ever. keep up. You're right. And it's very bad. You're right. Lovely view. Oh my lantern. Very fast slide. No, 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 no. Very fast slide. Step by step. Very slow me. <laughs> Even if I do. All right, we just finished Slippery Rock football camp. This is. Are you vlogging what is this? this uh, what's this? Um, this is number four, number three, three, three yeah. number three out of five more. I don't know. He has a ton. Overall, what are your thoughts? I did good. You did good. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing crazy, but did I? Did I? You did I? Yeah. Uh, anything you you walk away with? Uh, you know you. Yeah, I talked to. Uh, I talked to one of the seniors. He was like, "Oh, we are gonna get some good work this year," because he he was like, he think I could probably play up here. He was like, he gonna talk to the coach. You think I could probably play up here? He was like, he gonna hit me up. He gonna text me. Come on. About and uh, we gonna get some work in Pittsburgh. Feel me? Here we go. About to get some kayaking in. About to see what's going on on here. Oh, stay tuned. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Man? I got my man Shirley and Jules over here. These yeah, young men. Yeah, man. You're getting it done. Cutting it down over Yo, here. what are you guys doing right now? Waxing the door. <laughs> trying to get this wax off. Trying to get the wax off. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Trying to yeah, wax off. Wax on, wax off. All right. We just hit the halfway point. Six and a half miles. Sweet Falls or Shadow Falls. Here we go. It's crazy. It's beautiful out here. 2021 Deep Creek is alive and in session. But First day of school, look at the leg, look at the fit, you know, a little something, something. Something, something slight. A little something slick, you know. But you feel me? When I, once I go with my girl, I, got, I already got my outfit already on. Let's go. But, yo, Welcome back. This is crazy. I mean, I don't care what you want. You know, he boosted my high school experience. Like, the people I met through him is, like, amazing. I don't know what I would be doing right now. Obviously, all right. Well, my man Eli just got done doing the pull up, you know what I'm saying? How many do you do total? 35, right? 30, yeah. How many did I do? 21. 21. Yeah, and you got a shirt from me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what we do over here. We support one another. Here we go. I see you. All right, we got we got turkey bowl over here. This is just a little a setup, you know. This is not even the real deal yet. We got 1v1. Jerron, oh, looks like he got, oh, he's got gum in his shoes. Come on. Oh. All right, we're back at it. A complete dang hot. How are we feeling at him? I'm going to rip somebody's face off. Mm. <laughs> My stomach feels like how Hiroshima felt. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know why I can get it. Makes sense. I work out, so my appetite, my body's not used to eating this much. And that's yeah. my time. The soda's making it worse. It was vinegar and the coleslaw and the pickles. And whose decision was this again? <laughs> my non uh, brace it proudly. No regrets. Here's George. Hey, my guy, George. <laughs> Now, I got my man Keenan. This What's is up? a walking legend in the making. Come now, on. I love Young Life, and Amen. overall, I love Taylor Dice, and you guys get to see that often, but I, one of my favorite things to do is to go to different areas. This is my yes. man in Ambridge, holding yes. it down. He's Amen. showing me the showcase right now. Amen. Look at this display case. Amen. Look at that, I love it. There we go. Let's go. Come on, what, you go. Got, what do you got? You got anything to say, Keenan? Got my what brother Benny right here. Hey. Oh, oh, he's ready, come on, come on. No, he's ready. Coming, man. He's, he's ready. All right, I'm here with my man, Yoel, so well, holding it down. We are at Kiev, a Russian <laughs> store in Square Hill. He's giving me all the ins and outs. Check this out. The ins and outs, the best of the best, what to eat, what to try out. Stay tuned to what I'm about to devour. All right, I am, I am here with my man, Yoel, so well, holding it down. We had a great spread over here. I had some ice cream, candy, I had a sandwich, we had tea vegetables it was amazing yo can you say uh thanks for coming over and visiting in russia is that is that possible like it was nothing i love this guy he's amazing come on i mean come on 
2021 was absolutely phenomenal. It was a great year. Of course, it came with ups and downs like any time or any part in life, um, but it was so great, especially during a pandemic of uncertainty, um, things that were being closed, we opened back up, new spaces as we got to, as we grow, um, we got to experience new things. And so through it, through it all, more kids came to know Christ, more kids felt more safe, psychologically safe, physically safe, felt cared and loved for. Um, there's actually an author who wrote this book and in it, you know, it was actually written in the 20s and he says the biggest, biggest epidem ec epidemic, what actually, you know, we can use even now as a pandemic um, is, or disease is lovelessness. Um, just the idea of people that feel unwanted, uncared for. And that's not only kids, but even adults that feel that way, that feel, although they're so connected as far as social media or maybe in their, their works places, can still feel so isolated. And so I'm so thankful that we were able to create a place and a space for kids to feel, you know, that they belong, that they that their voice matters um, more than them just being included into something, but they actually had a seat at a table and that they were really being heard. And I hope that it continues to grow, to be honest, too. We had such a great year. And as we get ready for 2022, I, I hope that you guys will lean in with me and pray um, with me as we get ready for 2022 and that that will hopefully be to have just a, a a solid start to 2022 as we have things already in place with campaigners like meeting up every sunday with kids all over the east end of pittsburgh so we'll be praying for that as far as partnerships being established we have some cool ones that i won't i won't give away now but in the foreseeable future you will be able to start seeing some of those things um, come to fruition and I'll of course acknowledge them um, when the time is right but we can pray for partnerships that are coming along so this this idea of leaders like myself and, and George um, stepping up and being with kids on a daily basis um, but then coming on alongside others professionals around Pittsburgh that will step up and be touching points so more than my just myself more than just George or just leaders um, there's people that will be able to help guide and direct some of these kids that are really skilled uh, or have a, a passion for something um, and be able to kind of hone that craft a little bit more. So I won't give anything else away. So you can be looking for that, but we're praying for partnerships. We're praying for leaders as we have these amazing leaders, you know, Becca, Spencer, and Sarah, who were with me pretty much around the time when I came on staff that are now that have blossomed and that are growing and will be transitioning off, rightfully so, as Becca just got married. Um, so congratulations for, for that or with that. And we're so excited to see you and Riley just continue to be a power couple um, that just the aroma of Christ that is on you guys and that the, there are going to be so many people that come to know the Lord because of just the way you guys engage and interact with one another. Um, we lift up my man Spencer, who just graduated from Pitt a little early. Um, as he'll be traveling the world soon. And so uh, safe travels with that. And then when you come back, you know, let's get back to it. And my lady, Sarah, who will be graduated in April, May, um, and will probably land in Ohio for a little bit, but she's a superstar and will probably end up going to, I don't know, somewhere in Europe or Cali or New York, but either way, she's going to be phenomenal. And so we, I'm so thankful for the time that you carved out while in Pittsburgh to love on kids and to continue to help direct and guide them um, and allow them to know more of their purpose in life and to see a bigger picture. You can be praying for my family as we um, just kind of go into 2022, that we would just continue to focus in on w really the will of God, um, that we wouldn't get so caught up in the minutia of comparing or what we think it should be like uh, as far as an area, but that we would really keep our eyes fixated on what God has for us. And as new opportunities come on or continue to evolve, that um, the best yes is sometimes saying no, and that we would be more present. And I speak that for myself especially, that I would be more present um, in the everyday um, kind of agenda of of my area, that I'm a present to, to be around, to be, um, to be a, hold others accountable, but then also hold myself accountable. So you can be praying for just those new beginnings, things that are already kind of, you know, um, bubbling up, you know, stirring up, and that they would just continue to glorify God. I'm so thankful for 
everyone, from every person that has given me just a cent. As a reminder, I'm, I'm reminded of this, and I just want to remind you guys, donors, um, whether prayerfully, financially, you know, spiritually coming alongside and supporting Amy and myself and Phoenix and Braden, um, I just love you guys. And as a reminder that every cent that I get, every cent that I get is a is a is a gift. And so, I I don't actually have like I, I mean it's not guaranteed what I what I bring in is going to come in every month. So I'm so thankful for you guys because it is such a gift, and I'm so thankful that you help sustain and help build um, ministry and culture in the east end of Pittsburgh. So without anything else, have a phenomenal 2021, the rest of your 2021, and that we will look forward to 2022. Um, if Once again, if you feel compelled to give to the east end of Pittsburgh, my information, you can see that below with my number information, my phone number, my email address, and then I'll also be a given link in there as well. And if you don't, like I said, take this as a gift and in any video that I do, any vlog that I do, I end with this. And this is, I truly do mean this. If you haven't heard it from anybody else, hear it from me. Please hear this from me. You have meaning, value, and purpose. I truly do mean that. I hope that you would truly taste and see how good God really is. Um, whether you're just outside and you just see the beautiful sky, whether it's gray or it's blue. Where you get to see that in a friend or a sibling or your child, and you just see the beauty and with that, which makes your your heart smile. That you would really see that. Go out there and love on somebody else. Also realize that you are loved too. All right, I gotta go. Have a great rest of your 2021, and let's get ready for 2022. Peace.